Acute cholecystitis is defined as inflammation of the gallbladder. Major functions of the gallbladder are to store excess bile and concentration of bile. Bile is produced in the liver and has many important functions. Some of them include facilitation of lipid digestion and absorption, excretion of bilirubin and excess cholesterol, and neutralization of the acidity in the duodenum. Bile consists of about 95% of water, in which are dissolved a number of solid constituents, including bile salts, bilirubin phospholipid, cholesterol, drugs and their metabolites, and other compounds such as amino acids and enzymes, vitamins, and heavy metals. The most common cause of acute cholecystitis is gallstone disease. When gallstones get lodged in the cystic duct, it causes gallbladder wall irritation and damage when the gallbladder contracts, which leads to gallbladder inflammation, giving rise to the signs and symptoms of acute cholecystitis. In addition to inflammation, there is gallbladder distension, and the pressure within the gallbladder is also increased. This will facilitate bacterial growth, especially the E. coli bacteria. A minority of acute cholecystitis cases can occur without gallstone disease. This condition is called acalculus acute cholecystitis and is associated with gallbladder stasis and ischemia. It is mainly seen in critically ill patients who are hospitalized and on prolonged immobilization. Risk factors for developing this condition include sepsis, diabetes mellitus, immune suppression, cytomegalovirus infection, total parenteral nutrition, major trauma, and burns. Predominant symptom in acute cholecystitis is right upper quadrant pain, which begins in the epigastrium and then localizes to the right upper quadrant. The pain often radiates to the right shoulder. It is a constant pain, lasting for more than six hours. The pain is associated with other symptoms such as nausea and vomiting and fever. In addition, patients may have a history of gallstone disease. Physical examination findings include right upper quadrant tenderness and guarding, and a positive Murphy's sign. This sign is elicited by deep palpation of the costal margin in the right upper quadrant, while asking the patient to take a deep breath. The pain in acute cholecystitis forces the patient to stop breathing. Additional findings may include a palpable gallbladder and jaundice. Diagnosis of acute cholecystitis can be made with clinical features and investigation findings. The single most useful investigation for the diagnosis of gallstone-related disease is abdominal ultrasound, which may reveal gallstones in the gallbladder and inflammatory changes, such as gallbladder wall thickening and pericholecystic fluid. In addition, blood tests may show moderate leukocytosis. C-reactive protein levels may also be elevated. And marginal elevation of serum bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase, and amino transferases may be seen. Finally, the treatment of acute cholecystitis can be divided into conservative management and surgical treatment. Surgery is usually delayed for a few days until gallbladder inflammation settles. Conservative therapy includes intravenous fluids pain relief with analgesics, antibiotics, and bed rest. The definitive treatment of acute cholecystitis is surgery to remove the gallbladder, which is known as cholecystectomy. This could be either open cholecystectomy or laparoscopic cholecystectomy.